Now it's time for the four picks. I like uh, Baltimore minus three. Lions plus six. The Bucks minus two. And San Francisco minus a point and a half. Yeah. I also got Tampa minus two. Baltimore minus three. Chargers, I don't even know. Chargers minus seven. Chargers minus seven. Oh, yeah, they at home. I'm still taking that. And Kansas City over Indy. Indy didn't have any points, so it really doesn't matter to me. No points last week. Big donut hole. I think they would. It was minus six, or yeah, I think KC was only minus six or something. You said minus six, yeah, you yeah six. minus six. Like I said, they they didn't even score. So you think you think Patrick Mahomes is only going to put up six? You think what two field goals? Yeah, no, that's an easy one. I had a bad okay. week last week. I'm looking to bounce back right here. Oh Lord, only four last week. I, if anything, I feel like I said I'm gonna have at least one in case you know. <laughs> Week three is Social Buzz Sports. Dre Rice and Chief Rocker. Hey, that was a hectic week right there, man. Real, real ugly. A lot of upsets on my way. I tell you that. <laughs> yeah, I didn't do too well at all. Uh, I think I finished. I think I finished right there. Me and you were me and you was also supposed to put the uh we supposed to start adding them into the to the to the Discord. You know what I mean? We gotta get on top of that. We gotta shit been all over, but we gotta catch up to this shit. We gotta put that shit up there. I went eight and eight this week, man. I went eight and eight. I, I went eight and eight. I went but the eight bad thing. Eight. I went zero oh and four on my four pick. Zero oh and four. I went one and three. <laughs> so that tells you what kind of week it was in the NFL. I mean, it's like we had teams like Baltimore go down to Miami. Who, who, who picked that one? Who picked Baltimore going down to Miami? I mean, Miami, you better start. We gotta start looking at them as a serious contender. I, I guess, especially I do as a Bills fan, gotta start taking them serious in the division now. You fuckers is fast. That Those they got speed. <laughs> they, they, they got speed like they're from Florida now. I'm, I'm I'm from Buffalo, but I lived half my life. And I did I played high school football and, and track and all that in Georgia. And the only cats that can keep up with us in track or football speed wise was Florida, in South Carolina, Texas, North Carolina, Tennessee, Alabama. No, Georgia and Florida have speed, but I'm telling you, them Florida boys got a different gear. They different, and it's like that Miami Heat then got to Jalen Waddle. And to Tyree Kill, and it gave him uh, uh, another speed boost or something. And it's it's speed. It's it's a speed. Play. It's, a, it's a foot race that can't nobody won. What was your? You know your my record. So my record the last two weeks, I'm nineteen and thirteen. My picks. I'm now six and six. 17. I'm 17 and 15 right now. <coughs> you over 500. I don't even remember what I did last week in my four pick. Let me see. Okay, hold on. I was okay. I'm, I was two and two last week. In my oh, yeah, four you was two pick. and two. Two and two. So, <laughs> I'm two and six. <laughs> Gee, two and six in a four pick. That's bad. Looking at 500 pretty much in wow, two and six. We're going to pick it up this week, though. I, yeah, I, so let's let's kick it off uh, with a Thursday night game because uh, we're on top of our shit at this point. I think we're going to be able to get this shit out tomorrow. So, um... Our Thursday night game is the Steelers versus the Browns. Um, both of them lost last week, right? This week, you mean yeah, the Browns lost uh, to the last second uh, in, in in to the Jets? 
And Pittsburgh, no, yeah, Pittsburgh lost to New England. Pittsburgh lost to New England. To New England. Hmm. Yeah, that was bad. So that's we got bad, but, but Mitch that's, that's too through, bad. <laughs> that's two bad games right there. <laughs> Mitch Kubisky threw for one sixty eight in a touchdown. That ain't look too good. Like he was gonna be moving around. Jacoby Brissett for the Browns. He still t two threw for two thirty, and they still lost. Him and look like he like him and Amari Cooper got a little connection. Nine receptions for one hundred and one yards. It's that they Cleveland. Joe, they look Joe, they look Joe Flacco for three hundred seven yards. Hey, that's that Wiley veteran stuff right there. That's that Wiley veteran right there. You know what I mean? I'm gonna chew up your inexperienced defense. I got a nice little pass rush, but if we can stop that, I'm gonna chew it up. That's what he did. I honestly, I'd like Cleveland's defense, and they're at Cleveland. No more Baker Mayfield there. I'm gonna go Cleveland. Cleveland. I'm gonna go Pittsburgh. But, but but Cleveland. You better go Pittsburgh with your Pirates hat on. Look at uh, black and yellow, black and yellow. I had a Steelers hat. I ain't wear it on purpose. Uh, <laughs> I think I'm gonna go with the Steelers on that one. Um, I just think I just think Mike Tomlin know about if he take a loss like that. I don't think he. I think he knows he can't take a division loss. You think he's gonna bounce I, back? I think he's gonna bounce back. Um, because they still let uh you got Joe Flacco and you got Matt Jones going against both of them for over 200 yards apiece. So both defenses is uh they're not good against the pass. I know, I know uh I know Cleveland's uh Miles Garrett is over there, but Mitchell Trubisky is kind of a running a, a running quarterback, so they're gonna put him in positions to where he probably move in the pocket trying to get away from him. And that's, it's not going to be a high-scoring game at all. And Pittsburgh getting four and a half points. That's crazy. Oh, give me Pittsburgh. I changed it up. Give me Pittsburgh. <laughs> no, this ain't the point joint, though. This is the, uh, this is the I, pick. But you, but you changed me on that because I, I, I feel like you said they're going to run away from Miles Garrett and, and they're going to really get a ball to Najee Harris. I'm going to take Pittsburgh. I do I have Pittsburgh why. now. I just started liking Cleveland because no more uh, Baker Mayfield. I ain't gonna lie to you. Yeah, but I, I know Jacoby Brissett is not gonna manage more than uh, one touchdown a game if that. Is this a good thing? He like he just uh, game managing, really. Basically. Um, the next... run game. Oh yeah, the run game is me. So that's what that's what opens up the play action, you know. But it's like if y'all ran for all them yards. And yeah, threw pretty nice, and y'all still lost. Y'all still gave up a lot. Right. I gave up a lot. Um, the next game we have, I have Pittsburgh too. The next game we have is the Kansas City Chiefs against the Indianapolis Colts. KC. At this point in time, I have no more faith in the Colts. Yeah, Matt Ryan is looking like Matt Ryan. <laughs> he looks like Matty Ice Cold. Yeah, put Maddie on ice. <laughs> That's what his no. name should be now. Put Maddie on ice. Sit him yeah. down. Go and retire, big guy. It's okay. Yeah, Patrick Mahomes coming off that, that that game against the Chargers, division game, and it came down to the last minutes. Patrick Mahomes only threw for two thirty five and two touchdowns, but he didn't turn the ball over. That's something he didn't do that time. Um, that's that's just that's that's like I said. I don't even think Indy scored last week, if I'm not mistaken. Like, seriously, no joke. I don't think they Indy scored last week. They got yeah. zipped. Matt Ryan only threw for 195 done. yards. It's, they're done. Early yeah. in the season, I'm calling it now. They're done. Stick a fork and a knife in them. Done. They were down 17-0 in the first half. Yeah, I just don't have no faith in those guys. Um... And I, I still don't think that uh, Kansas City even got their offense in full gear yet. So I think this is going to be practice. I think they're going to do a little tricks and shit out there. Um, try to spice Edwards. it up. Try to open the offense up. <laughs> Excuse me. Edwards Hilaire going to have a big day. Travis Hills is going to have a big day. I feel Juju is going to have a big day. Yeah, pitch and catch. 
Record setting day. <laughs> Pitching catch record setting day? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I got, I got KC. You got KC? Definitely. <laughs> it looks like we're on a road to a comeback right here. The next game I have down is the Baltimore Ravens against the New England Patriots. I don't care what New England just did. A crazy game. Um, obvious. It's obvious the Ravens could put up a lot of points. A man could throw the ball. It's a lot of air under his passes, but he could throw the ball. And he's gonna run. The, he, he's he's the leading rusher and the leading passer. So he had 318 yards passing, three touchdowns, and nine rushes for 119 yards and one touchdown. <laughs> yeah, I, I and I don't I don't see the New England uh, defense stopping that. I just see that continue to roll. Not gonna say they 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 win last week was a fluke, but um yeah, that's a different animal in Lamar Jackson right there. Than, than Mitchell Trubisky running. You know what I'm saying? That's a yeah. total different monster. And, and and Baltimore coming off a loss. You know how that you know how that Baltimore reacts off a loss. You Baltimore, know how hard ball is. Yes. Baltimore coming off a loss. But Baltimore is actually averaging over 30 points a game or over 26 points a game or something like that. So New England just barely won with the 17 points. So it's, it's Baltimore is putting twenty eight points up in the first half. <laughs> so, this ain't the old Bill Belichick, man. They're showing you. That. Matt Jones is not coming from behind and winning no football game. Man. Not yet. Not yet. Not yet. He I don't mean, have enough <laughs> weapons to come from behind yet. Not enough weapons. I like man, Baltimore on this one. Oh yeah, that, that like I'm not gonna call it easy, but it was a quick pick for me. Even though Baltimore lost last week, it's still a quick pick. That like you know what I mean. This one right here is gonna confuse us a lot. I don't even know uh, where to really go with this one, but this is the Tennessee. I said Tennessee, the Houston Texans versus Chicago Bears. Um. Texans, I'm not quite even sure. I'm so uninterested in them. I, I'm not even quite sure who their quarterback yeah. is. I, I, we, we said this last week. I still don't know. Matt Schaub, uh, D. Mills, and he threw for 177 yards against the Broncos. No touchdowns, nothing. His highest receiver had four receptions for 58 yards. <clears throat> <laughs> Did they win? <laughs> they lost nine to sixteen to the Broncos. Nine to sixteen, yeah. And the Bears lost twenty-seven lost ten to Green Bay. Green Bay, they lost to Green Bay. Aaron Rodgers owns them, as he as he said, and he just Justin Fields threw a total combined of seventy yards passing. Got more faith in and they at Chicago. I got more faith in Soldier Field alone than Houston. <laughs> you know, I got more faith in the Chicago fans in Soldier Field than Houston right now. Well, they running back uh, D Montgomery had 15 attempts for 122 yards. So <clears throat> I guess they was trying to do something. Uh, I guess running the ball. They got a young quarterback in in, in, uh, in Fields, so they they gonna figure. I I believe that Fields will figure it out. They just got to get him some more weapons. I think they I can do, do enough to win. Oh, for sure. Because like I said, I have if no faith for, or if love if for he Houston. For, if he throws for seventy yards against Houston, <laughs> I think they could win. Excellent day. <laughs> Excellent day. <laughs> Good job, kid. He's gonna run for another seventy. Great job. Yeah. Yeah. High school stats. I can deal with that. So the next one we have is the Las Vegas Raiders versus the Tennessee Titans. Both of them coming off a loss. Both of them throwing off their rhythm. Both of them. Well, Tennessee Titans was never in the game. No, they were and not. <laughs> the Cardinals 
weren't in the game until about the fourth quarter. <laughs> so you mean the Raiders? You talking? You mean I the mean, Raiders? The Raiders were in the lead the entire time until the fourth quarter. So they blew a lead. Yeah, they were up to twenty-three to seven in the third quarter. The fourth quarter, uh, Cardinals scored sixteen unanswered points, and then they scored the six in overtime. Yeah, and it's Tennessee at Tennessee. Uh, honestly, I don't have as much, nowhere near as much faith in the Raiders defense as I do in the Bills defense to keep Derrick Henry to 25 yards to the point where I don't even think he played the fourth quarter or the third. I don't know. Most of these starters didn't play the third, the second half. Tannehill set the bench for most of the second half. That Bills defense was swarming. Matt Milano was all over the place. Tremaine Edmonds was he was you he was fight, hitting everybody. You're going too far with the Bills. You're going too far with the Bills. You're going too far with the Bills. <laughs> I'm just talking about the defense. I'm not even talking about the game. I'm talking about, You're talking about the Titans. I'm talking about the defense. What they did to Derrick Henry. That's all I'm talking about. I'm they were putting helmets on. They were they were so, putting helmets. And 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 that's all I'm saying. And and they were in Buffalo. Now the Raiders defense, like I said, I saw them preseason. They were looking fast and swarming like the Bills were, but the way they they gave up the lead like that. And Derrick Henry's at home. The 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 beast and animal that I know of Derrick Henry ever since high school in Alabama, I don't see him having another 25 yard performance. I I see they they kind of gave up on Tannehill by taking him out. So I I feel a heavy dosage of Derrick Henry, and I and I feel that it's going to be too much for the Raiders in Tennessee. I'm, I'm gonna actually go Tennessee. Ah. Uh- I don't uh, I don't see it looks like he he has the most receptions to uh Hollins five receptions for 66 yards so Devonte doesn't look like the number one like he got him the ball uh, uh defenses are probably keying in on him of course they of course defense are giving him their best uh cornerback that's a given oh, okay once you take him away then what do they have? They they should they she has Waller, I don't know why Waller's not balling, cause he he was before Devontae got there. So like you said, that should take some attention off of Waller. So and I don't have, know what's not, I don't know what's have, going on. And you have Jacob, so I don't know if they're uh I don't know I don't, coaching, think, I don't think I don't think I like the Raiders playbook. That's what I sound like. I don't know if it's the coaching. The I don't think they, they don't stretch the field. They don't even really try. They're not, they're not using Devontae right, probably. Or Waller, because you can really put Waller as a receiver. And I think they have, I'm not sure, but I think they have another decent receiver. He's probably not a big game, but... Hollins. It's, it's, it's two more. They got another receiver and also Hollins. Hollins is, Hollins is actually good. It doesn't, you think he's a young kid, like 24. But you got Josh Jacobs also. You got Derek Carr, Devontae Adams. You said Waller, Jacobs. In the fourth quarter, you guys couldn't get anything to keep this lead. You couldn't even get in field goal range. <clears throat> so I don't but I don't also don't trust the Titans secondary. <laughs> yeah, I I don't don't, it, it, can, it can be kind of a not say a shootout, but because now you say now you got Adams against the Titans secondary, so and they, I think, I think they're also playing two rookie corners out there in Tennessee. So it could be a pitch and catch day with those boys as well. But I, like I said, an uh, angry Derrick Henry. That's what I'm. I have faith in. I so think you convinced me. And it's in Tennessee. I think you convinced that's, me. You that's all. Uh, 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 angry Derrick Henry. Yeah, don't nobody want to tackle that all game. Yo, this is crazy. I didn't get to this game yet. <laughs> I hope I get to it fast. It's funny. Oh, no, this is the game you want to get to right here. <clears throat> the Buffalo Bills versus the Miami Dolphins. You know what you say? I want to get to it. I don't because I'm, I'm not scared. But this could be a, a tricky one. The Bills tend to lose in Miami in Miami. We tend to go down there, get a dose of good weather, party out. <laughs> that too. Fuck up, I fuck up everything know? every time. Every time. You every time. 
every time. So, like I said, that could be a toss-up. But the thing about it is, we usually go to Miami late in the season when it's cold in Buffalo. That's when we really tend to show ass, you know what I mean, Saturday night, not make curfew, be tired the next day uh, as late in the season. We don't need this game. It's early in the season. I think Buffalo's been hearing that they're number two in the division. They're on your heels now that they got Tyreek Hill. You got to watch out. I feel like Tyreek's going to get his. Nobody else is. If, if, if everyone comes back healthy because we had a couple of injuries last night if everybody come back healthy i don't think they said they said jackson walked out of the uh hospital this morning walked out no no problem so i doubt he's playing but if high plays i think we'll be okay i really do tyreek's gonna get he's not gonna get nothing deep that's not gonna happen our safety is gonna be over that he's probably gonna get a nice little slant route some probably break a little some some Waddle get he he Waddle's gonna be the one that's gonna dink and doink and get you the fifteen yarders. He's gonna get you a couple of third and longs that's gonna piss us off and it's gonna make it look like they're gonna score, but they're not gonna kick a field goal. It's gonna be a close game, I'm not gonna lie about that. It won't be a blowout like Bill's been doing. It won't be that. This will well, be the closest game of the season. I, uh I think Waddle had a hundred and uh fifty yards receiving. Tyreek Hill had 190. I think both of them boys had two touchdowns. This dude, Tagapaloa, am I ever saying his name right? Threw for 469 yards and six touchdowns, bro. Six, six touchdowns, bro. Six of them. Six touchdowns, bro. Yeah. So. I didn't like his arm strength, though. No, a lot of folks didn't. I didn't like it. I, didn't like it. I don't I, it like like if those guys wasn't just so wide open. If he has to, if he has to deal with those safeties back there, it's still gonna be hard because they're gonna have to. If the boys start catching a lot of short passes, they're gonna start playing up. I don't. That's, and that's I what think Bob Miller could get to this kid. See, the and only problem, though, it's a I problem, but this is a good problem, it's a bad problem, because once he's he's left-handed, so he's kind of facing him. Mm-hmm. He's kind of mm-hmm. blind, coming from his blind side, he's kind of facing him, so he'll be able to see him. It, it's, but, it's, that, it's, but that's going to scare Tungo Valoa to get out, get it out of quickly. Him. You're going to see he's him. He's going to get it out quickly. He's, he's, gonna, like, he's, 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 he's always warner about him. And then, you know what I mean? You got to worry about the backside blitz then at that point because, like you said, you're always worried about that. And Matt Milano has proven that he can play those short zones. And Trey is just, he's just fast. He seemed a, a bit faster this year. As long as, like I said, as long as we can get Fitz on the outside with Tyreek and have a safety over the top, and we got Von Miller in that pass rush looking the way it is with Jordan Phillips getting in there like that too, Russo and everybody getting off. Hey, I, okay. So I, I don't see, like I said, I don't see a blowout. I see, and, and if we can get our hands up, because Tonga Valoa, he didn't, he didn't put the game plan out there to you too. I, I can't see you. I'm too short. Put your hands up. Get in those passing lanes. If that's they get their hands up, because he's not gonna throw really deep passes. Gonna be quick, short passes. Get your hands up and and get him to moving around. Don't get him because he kind of still swift. But, but yeah. on the other end, on the other end, they gave up 318 passing yards and three touchdowns, 28 points in the first half, and the quarterback nine rushes for 119 yards. So, so at the same time, and the Bills got the next best running quarterback next to Lamar, and we. And, and like they were saying, if the if there wasn't anybody running the ball on Baltimore, it was Lamar. No, no uh production out the backfield besides Lamar. None. And I feel the Buffalo Bills, they just don't do it consistently enough. They just don't hand the ball off enough. They they know what they got. They like to sell tickets, they like to sell jerseys, throw the ball to Stefan Diggs, throw the ball, throw the ball, throw the ball. And until you, you gotta, stop you it. And I, I mean, until you stop it, I don't. They just haven't done it, and it's proven that they can. 
you you gotta you gotta run the ball a little bit. You can't make it you, just that one dimensional. You got you got to. I mean, like they haven't used James Cook. I know he fumbled the first time he touched the ball in the NFL, but you got to use a young boy. Honestly, I like I like Moss. I do, but you gotta sit him. He he he, he tried to do too much. Moss tried to do too much at the backfield. You're not a, you're not a Swift dude. What are you doing? You need to start working like the bus. Get north and south and go. Get what you can. Run somebody over. Stop trying to sidestep. Save that for Motor and James. Get what you can and get out. With with that with number 41, that fullback showed us with that elusiveness, breaking them tackle and getting in the end zone and catching that ball. That showed us that Moss, you're about to be up out of here. You're about <laughs> to take your spot. I'm telling you now. Gonna free up some money and get you right up out of here. You got a a, a pass catching tight oh uh, fullback? When was the last time you seen that? Mike Ballstock? Come on, man. That's dangerous. <clears throat> if they allow, if they allow Lamar Jackson to throw for 319 yards, Josh Allen threw for 317 yards and four touchdowns. Josh about to have a field day. If Gabe comes back to, Josh is gonna have a field day. You're 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 convincing me more towards Buffalo. I I was I, like I said I wasn't scared, but I had a little a little sitting on my seat about it. But the way you're talking. <laughs> you, you can I mean, me this more. makes sense. If if this, you know what I mean, you you kind of know. Good to say this, bad to say this. The is almost one dimensional. You get what I'm saying? He he's not gonna. It was a lot of air. It was a lot of he, air in his passes too. Even he got, he got arm strength. He got arm strength, like you said. He can throw that thing, goal line to goal line, pretty much. But like I said, he got to put some air on it. When it comes to a tight window. He don't. He don't really want to throw that. The yeah, slants I, is I in the air. The slants is in the, the ball is in the air too long on a slant. I, I on, a out, on a out the ball. That's why. That's why people jump in the routes. Mm-hmm. The ball got so much air in it. You could run. You could, if you playing defense, you could catch up. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's like a soft pass. Yeah, I get what you're saying. I get what you're saying. It's, it's like a, it's like a general like I'm throwing this to my kid pass like. Yeah, yeah. Like I said, he got arm strength, arm talent, but he don't have a. Cannon. So this guy has a cannon. He got a slingshot. Yeah, I no, mean, I'm talking about cannon. Josh no. Allen has a cannon. Oh, Josh got a rocket cannon. Like so if thing, this man. guy, if this guy threw for 300, no, no interceptions, 319, three touchdowns, and he still ran. So y'all didn't stop him from doing shit. Didn't and he didn't, he didn't. He didn't play the second half. He played like I guess I don't Ooh. think he played Josh. Oh no. The, the Bill starters didn't even play the second half. So like you said, that, Oh, I forgot about that. He threw for 317 and he didn't play in the fourth quarter. So <laughs> so uh, you know what I mean? That's probably at least another hundred. Diggs probably got another touchdown. And we're without our number two receiver in Gabe Davis. Yeah, I think the defense is just they flying around. <clears throat> I take the Bills on that. Like I said, Bill is flying around so fast, hurting our own players. The next one we have is the Detroit Lions versus the Minnesota Vikings. Mm. Detroit, put Detroit up is last putting week. up points. They're acting like 35 <laughs> points. Like just, they put up points last week. They really did. Remember, they uh, kept put the, the, the comeback on Philly uh, in week one and only mm-hmm. lost by two or something. But what they defense look like? Um, they defense look like they let Carson Wentz throw for 337. <laughs> Minnesota, I think I might be going Kirk Cousins and them boys. I think Adam Thielen might have a field day. They at home coming off a loss. I think I'm a, I'm a, I'm gonna go with my with Minnesota. This is my last week with Minnesota. If Minnesota don't win this for me, I'm done with Minnesota. I'm only going Dalvin. <laughs> I'd be done with Minnesota now. You done with them now? I might be. <laughs> I might, I might, I don't like, I don't, I don't, it's it's like they always do to have them ups and downs like that. They didn't, <clears throat> Kirk Cousins, 221 yards, one touchdown. What happened to Delvin? <clears throat> Why do we say Kirk Cousins, two rushes for 20 yards? <laughs> hey, what happened to Delvin? 
Did they? But did they? They played. They played Philly, didn't they? They played Philly, didn't they? They went down yeah. quick. They went down quick. That's what it was. Cause that was last night. They went down quick, and they probably didn't. They didn't give uh, Dalvin a ball. I want to say, I want to say. It so the lead in Russia. It was over. It was twenty-one-seven, just <clears throat> like, like that, out of nowhere. I want to say somebody fumbled. Philly picked it up or something like that. All I know, I was watching the Bills game, and they because it was two Monday night games and. They had it split. Next thing you know, like I said, it was it was 14 7. I'm like, okay, it's a good game. Next thing you know, it was 21 7. The next thing you know, it was all downhill from there. It yeah. was kind of going like the Bills game. They didn't they score. Just... Either neither team scored again in the second half of that game. So it was 24 to 7 in the first half, and they didn't score again. <clears throat> Kirk Cousins, two attempts, 20 yards. Adam Thielen, four receptions, 52 yards. Like, I, I just say I'm I'm real down. I'm not going to doubt Philly no more. This week, I'm I'm going with those boys. When we get to that game, we'll get to that game. But... I, 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 I think I'm gonna go with Minnesota this last time too. I think this is the last time I'm <clears throat> Let's gonna see on, if the trade is it's gonna see if the trade really real this year or not. If they win on the road, I might start looking at them differently. The next game we got are the Cincinnati Bengals. First, the New York Jets. The Bengals are 0 and 2, coming off the Super Bowl. Burn the one see many twice already. Sickness. He might have, he might need to sit down. That appendectomy might have, might be more serious than they say. But it's the Jets, and the Jets had a comeback win, and they're at <clears throat> Jets. That's a scary one. That's a scary one. Jets coming off a win, comeback win, feeling good. Mm, I, don't know. I don't know. But I said then, they'll be a home too. They upset. I, I don't even know. This don't even have a this. Okay, this this can start talk about. Cause right here it has Joe Burrow, 199 yards and one touchdown. It doesn't even have a quarterback on the Cowboys side. <laughs> Oh no! Uh, oh boy, went off. Cooper Rush. He had a decent game. That's crazy. You don't even. They don't, they so disrespectful. Right. That's messed up. Cause Cooper Rush had a pretty decent game. He really did. I can't tell you his stats or nothing like that, but I remember them saying it. I mean, he had a he had a good game. Obviously, he they won. Yeah. <laughs> you, you know what I'm saying? So Bengals yeah. going to Bengals Kings. Well, Cooper Rush might have surprised me because you probably can't even game plan for him. Um, the Jets. In the game plan for a quarterback. <laughs> I just don't, I don't believe in Flacco. You don't believe in Flacco? Pretty Flacco. I don't believe in Flacco. You don't I'm going believe Cincinnati, in Cincinnati, they coming out, they slump. I, I just mm. don't, I just can't. Not, not Flacco. Can't you say that? I, some Flacco, I wanna... Flacco had to stand in the pocket and kill you. You can't move. He must. He, to he did it last week. <laughs> he did it last week. Yeah, I'm saying he had to just be in there. Cooper, just... But Cooper Rush is the same type of quarterback, and he he did it. To, he did it last week to Cincy, and, and Flacco got a Super Bowl. Mm. <laughs> and they at home. Flacco got a I Super Bowl. Like about yeah. a Super Bowl win. It don't matter when Cooper Rush don't, and he just ate up. The what team. year does he have a Super Bowl? I don't know, but he got one. That <laughs> man, you know that. that man, that man, about forty six. Man, he, he he this year this era is <laughs> Vinny Testaverde. Come on, man. <laughs> yeah, I don't. I'm not <laughs> fucking with. <him. laughs> I'm taking I'm, the Bengals. I'm I'm I'm. This is my last week. Say if the Bengals lose, I'm done with the Bengals. I'm gonna call it last year a fluke. If they lose this week, I'm done with the Bengals. Last year was a fluke. The next thing like we Jets. have, <laughs> yeah, Jesse, the Philadelphia Eagles versus the Washington Commanders. That's the first time I ever said the Washington Commanders. I just still call them just Washington, <laughs> but I got Philly. <laughs> I got Philly, Jalen. Hurts. 
That I, that's I mean, they said that Philly was a team that really was going to win a division, and they're looking like it right now. They looking like it, and everybody else in that division looking like pretenders, of course. But yeah, I'm going Philly. I should have put my Philly hat on. Carson Wentz didn't really have a bad game. It looked like he just started uh, late. Like they got down. Uh, that's crazy. Scored twenty-two to zero in the first half against the, the Lions, and then he they scored. Uh, no, that was all field goals. So <laughs> fifteen to twelve. But guys, no, yeah. guys, got three touchdowns. This look, I don't. It's so he missed the field. What? Carson Wentz got three touchdowns. I but they scored, they scored 15 one quarter and 12 one quarter for the 27 points. Uh, let me go to the box score. Because that's tripping me out. That's an extra point here and there. <laughs> Something was going crazy in there. He threw for, yeah, yeah, I guess so. He threw for three touchdowns. And the uh I don't know what the fuck went on right there. He threw for three touchdowns and a running back ran for a touchdown. But it was fifteen to twelve. Like what the fuck? <laughs> you know what they fucking my they fucking me up. Philly. They fucking me up. Yeah, I'm going, I'm going with Philly because of that. Just because of the confusion. Right. How did you guys get your points like that? What is going on? <laughs> they was... <laughs> Safety. That's four field goals and five field goals. I got get. <laughs> they must have had a safety or something. Like, yeah, like, y'all go for two? <laughs> what the f- All right. We got the Saints versus the Panthers. I do not trust either one of these quarterbacks to toss me a wrench if my car was broke down on the side of the road. I trust Jameis Winston more than I do with Baker. I'll tell what? you that. Huh? Hey. Look, hey, look at me crazy if you want to. That's just me personally. I'd rather a, a, a quote from the defensive. I, listen, a quote <laughs> from the defensive backs of the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. We know he's gonna throw us a few. We just wanted to try to get him earlier than possible. Hey, they so knew he was gonna to- throw them two to three interceptions. Hey. Brett Favre once had the most had the record oh, for the most touchdowns it, Favre, and the man. most interceptions. I'm just saying, sometimes you gotta gamble with that thing. You think about who he's played for. He's always played from behind, so sometimes you gotta gamble. I I still like I said between him and Baker Mayfield. I like I said I like Baker, <laughs> so I'm gonna bet against Baker every week. Every week he already played the Browns. Bet against him. If he played the Jets, that'd be the only week I probably don't bet against him. I'm betting against him versus uh, somebody in the CFL. I don't. I don't know a soccer team. I, I don't. I don't like Baker Mayfield. I don't. Know. Damn. I don't. I have no faith in him. None. As long as he's their quarterback over there, Christian McCaffrey is going to be their everything. Baker threw for a total of 145 yards and one touchdown last week. <laughs> wah, wah, wah. Oh, yeah, what's going on, Baker? Uh, Jameis Winston threw for 236 yards and one touchdown. I didn't okay. look at his um. Wish, I didn't look at his um interceptions though because I don't got them up here. Why are you talking okay. about fancy? No, you I got to go look at his. That guy go look at his. <laughs> See, be wilding out. Three interceptions. <laughs> <laughs> Three interceptions. I mean, Baker, too. I'll be fair. Because I ain't on Baker's side no more, though. <clears throat> Baker's 0 and 2. Like I said, Baker's 0 and 2. He didn't throw an interception, but he he was fourteen for twenty nine, hundred forty five yards. 
It's not good at all. 14 and 29. He might as well have thrown an interception at that point. He's a bum. Yeah, Dale Jones goes 22 or 34, 176 yards, one touchdown. No interceptions. He's a bum, bum, bro. He's a bum. Who, Jones? Oh, no. Baker. Baker. Yeah, Yeah, because I think Jones is a a bum, and he he beat him. (laughs) He's he, he, he. He outdo Dan- him, bro. Daniel Daniel Jones. Fantasy points and all at 15, 14. He he all the way around the board. You talking about it was Daniel Jones, right? Daniel Jones. Yeah, Daniel Jones is a complete bum. So you complete face bum. off. And he outballed you. You think Daniel Jones better than Jameis Winston? No. No. God no. No. You think Jameis Winston better? Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. 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 I like and they got the right coach. Over there in Brian Dable. I, I mean, I got mad love for the guy, a, a, a Western New Yorker. He's Dude, doing he's great going things over the there. Saints every time, man. They, they how, what's the Saints record? I think they <laughs> might be 0 2, but they just played Tampa. <laughs> <laughs> they just played Tampa, though. Hey, they, you keep having a, a speech for them boys, man. The boys, no, they won it. No, one. no, no, they won it. But say they won it one. They beat Atlanta first week. Hey. Week one. I just saw that. Hey, come back and beat Atlanta. So, like, come on, man. Come on, man. A lot of Alvin Kamara. A lot of Alvin Kamara. I I, I just, like I said, until Baker show me. I ain't until Baker show me something different. I'm like Skip Bayless when he talks about LeBron. I don't like him. It's just not going to happen. Yeah, man. I got the Saints, too. I got the Saints, also. The next one we have is the Jacksonville Jaguars against the San Diego Chargers. Ooh. Um, I just like the Chargers. They, yeah, Herbert. I until know. Herbert showed show a downside, I gotta go with them too. I mean, Trevor Lawrence had a good game last Chargers. week, but yeah, the Chargers and at the Chargers, I just, I just too much Chargers. Yeah, I just, I just like the Chargers, man. Yeah, yeah. Um, the next game we got the Packers versus the Bucks. Am I reading that right? Are you reading it right? Green Bay at Tampa. You're reading that completely right. Saying all over everything right now. Brady verse. Rogers. Yeah. Yeah. I got Tampa. I don't like Brady, but Rodgers, they don't seem to be clicking yet over there with the young receivers. And Brady and Florinette is just rolling. I believe I think- Mike Evans. I believe Mike Evans got suspended for a game, but I don't think that's gonna slow him down none. I don't think they understand Brady Brady. If they let Brady cruise into the playoffs, only averaging like throwing a hundred hundred and eighty yards, <laughs> they go. He might he might come go. back for another year. <laughs> he might come back again. <laughs> he might come back again. <laughs> Cause that's then he gonna he gonna get to the he gonna get to the playoffs like okay all I gotta do is throw for two sixty. All his receivers are gonna be fresh. <laughs> he gonna walk through it. Yeah, um, I, got, I got Tampa. I got the Bucks too. I don't think um I, I don't Green. think the Packers gonna gonna be the, uh, a a real substantial contender this year. I, if they do, I don't know. I don't. They don't continuously beat them. I don't see it. <clears throat> I love nothing stand out to me. Um, it looked like the same offense I've been watching since Brett Fire was there, bro. <laughs> like, it looked kind of like the same. So it's like you're going to get some stats, but it's like. I feel like Randall Cobb has been there since Brett Fire. Like, dude, he, he got to like be, be the oldest man in the league. Yeah, man. I got the Bucks, man. The next game we got is are the Rams defending champs against the Cardinals with the comeback win. Um, the, um, did you see Kyler last week? Man, I saw his happy feet. I saw I saw his happy feet. And Aaron Donald is gonna give that man a bunch <laughs> of opportunities to have those happy feet. <laughs> Running early. <laughs> He gonna yeah. be able to run early. And I think still no D hop. So I got, I got, I, I picked a lot of teams because they were at home. This is one that I'm picking the away team. I got the Rams. 
just because I feel Aaron Donald's going to have that man on the run. And I feel like Jalen Ramsey will wake up this week. For some reason, I feel like he, he'll wake up because that first week versus the Bills, he was sleeping. I, I, he looked he looked sleep. So I feel like he might have like two picks because Kyler's going to do a lot of on a run. And without D Hop, it's going to give Jalen's going to be doing a lot of lurking on his, you know how he do, kind of let his, fender, his, his receiver run past him and all that. And it going to. It's gonna be a lot of on the run passes and Kyler being that short quarterback. It's gonna be a lot of underthrown balls and he's gonna be underneath if, it. If your number one ain't there, he's gonna cover your number two. He got so your number two. So that's what I'm saying. He's gonna be able to lurk off and you know what I mean, play like, yeah, I'm not really covering him. And next thing you know, I'm on it. You know what I'm saying? Oh, prime time stuff. Oh, prime time. I feel like I said I and then the Rams, I just feel like this week. They're, they're, it's gonna start looking like last year. Cooper Cup's gonna have a good game. You know, I just, Stafford's gonna have a he, Stafford gonna have like two fifty, two touchdowns, no interceptions. Not gonna have a beast out game. Like I said, solid two, two solid two fifty, two touchdowns. Cooper Cup gonna have like one ten touchdown. I feel like the the strength of um. What they, what they're, what they're both strong at. If it's on the, it, how can I say this? If the Rams defense is on the field with the Cardinals offense, like you don't want to have like they, they're better on their defense than they're on their offense. You kind of want your, your your defense playing against Stafford. You know what I'm saying? You really want your yeah. defense on the field longer with their offense instead of the other way around, even though that's right. the only way you're going to score. But they're going to be – you're going to be running all day. You're going to make mistakes. And that's yeah, – I, I get what you said. It's only like, so far you can run. You're going to be running side to side, side to side. All right, third quarter, you got – you cramping. Oh, yeah. Because you had to take oh, yeah. it off almost your, your pocket collapsing. Oh, your pocket collapsing the whole time. The more, and then you 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 more inclined to injuries as you keep running. Like you, it's 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 not the benefit. Y'all out there with some with some with some with some with some with some animals. Some track animals. Some track animals, and you just keep dang on them, man. It's, it's Aaron Donald's gonna have like two sacks, maybe three. As soon as they snap the ball, he gonna push the pocket. Mm-hmm. Once the pocket collapses from the inside. He got to he gonna run to whatever favorite side he got to run to or where the pocket ain't clapping to. And all that all that running back and forth in the backfield like he was doing, you not gonna be the dude. No, no, you're not doing that because Aaron Donald's not one of those <laughs> typical gonna, defense alignment. And, and dudes. then set back up again the, the three throw. And then sit there he, for, he was running and sitting. Bro, because yeah. first even if you do beat the initial joint, you're not setting back up because one or two things gonna happen. Aaron Donald's coming to smack you, or you're gonna hold Aaron Donald so he don't come and smack you. You're not gonna have that much time in the backfield with Aaron Donald. That not happening. Not happening. If you survive Mm-mm. that game, you're getting injured next week because you're gonna use everything you got. Every if you're gonna throw the ball, you're not, that, you're not practicing all-, all week. You're in the ice bath all week. You're in the ice bath. Your legs are gonna feel like Clydesdales like the Budweiser horses because you're going to be like you said you're going to be on your horse all game Kyler Murray is going to be on his high horse all game giddy up motherfucker because that's what he's going to be on all with, game with spies <laughs> oh god heavy on the spy heavy on the spy because like you said with no D-hop you got Jalen Ramsey on your number which is your number two receiver which is now your number one so like I said yeah heavy spy heavy spy Heavy spy with a lot of linebacker blitzing too. Oh yeah, oh yeah. And a lot of times we seen um, when the coverage was there, he was he was coming running out the backfield. Oh, that whole the comeback. It looks like he, he only scored one. Like he ran for a couple of touchdowns. He only threw for one, so he ran for a couple. He did. They had a uh, uh, converted a couple two pointers, but. 
he had a lot of time in the backfield to run around or reset the run set okay now i'm about to run to the end zone or now i'm about to run for a, a first down you're not gonna be able to do that after that goes to show you too with all that goddamn time in the pocket you still couldn't find somebody open they say it's almost impossible to check a receiver <laughs> for more than five seconds you had 30. No, 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 no. Let me be, let me be, let me be completely honest because I remember what they said. That play took 20 seconds. Yeah. So you had at least 15 to 20 seconds to throw the ball and no one got open. That goes to show a lot about his receivers or the trust he got in throwing the ball to his receivers, one or the other. And like I said, all, that's not going to happen because you're not running side to side, nor east and west, I mean, or nor north and south against that defense against Aaron Donald and like and, and Jalen Ramsey and the rest of that defense it, it's not happening you're not going to be doing not one player is going to hold the ball for 20 seconds on that defense it's not happening you're not going to be able to do that That's, if you're going to have to do that the entire game you, he's not going he, he's going to cramp up he's going to be on oxygen and a and a respirator for the halftime you're going to need a third lung like the Rams on that mm-hmm the next game we have is the Falcons versus the Seahawks. Them dirty birds ain't flying. I got to go with the Seahawks. Oh, man. This is great. This is this, this, this. Whoa. Uh, battle, of the, battle of the birds. Let me go Falcons just to go against you, because I don't even be my guess. That's what we have. <laughs> be, be my guess. <laughs> it's Atlanta. My second home, I love you. Eight time down play. <laughs> when it comes to the Falcons, be my guess. Take them. Take I them, just, please. I just have to. I just was at a point where I had no choice. The next game we have is the San Francisco 49ers versus the Denver Broncos. Um, look like Russell Wilson threw for 219 and a touchdown. Jay Williams running back 15 attempts for 75 yards. Sutton, seven receptions for 122 yards. Um, let me look at the Boy, Niners. Boy, Trey Lance broke his leg. Jimmy G oh. came in and got him the W. Somebody that took them to a bowl. Somebody that knows the offense, someone that knows the receivers, someone that has chemistry with the receivers. The only thing that scares me about this game, why I wouldn't take San Fran, is because they're in Denver. A lot of folks forget that they actually are a mile high. That messes with people's lungs and breathing. So, and Denver do have Russell Wilson, Mr. Quarter, quarter Billion Dollars Man himself. Um. I think that even with the game planning, that they had enough time to even for Jimmy Garoppolo. I don't know if they really seen Jimmy Garoppolo this year. I think um, a lot of teams game plan. And I say game plan, but I think a lot of teams were still, uh, if they looked at their schedule, were still thinking, we still got to think about Jimmy G because he's still on the roster. I don't think people mm -hmm. had a lot of faith in Trey Lance. So, you know what I mean? You think you was, was thinking it was, it was like a double game plan. He that every time? Okay, yeah. I get it. Yeah, like, he, as long as he's on the roster and he's not injured and he's, like, I'm not playing to something like that, you still got to kind of got a game plan for Jimmy G. Because, like they said, he, if now, if there was, like, a uh, a veteran quarterback there, then maybe you slight. But, no, you still got a young quarterback that's not proven. He didn't come in on some... Patrick Mahomes and right out the gate start flaming. So, you know what I mean? So, you was always kind of scared that Jimmy G was going to come in and start slanging that thing like Jimmy G can. So, I, I'm not to say that Jimmy G is not going to surprise nobody. Put it that way. They know that what Jimmy G got, but Jimmy G got what Jimmy G got. What's Seattle's quarterback name? He's not playing Seattle. They're playing Denver. What's Seattle's quarterback name? Gino, <laughs> if Gino beat the Broncos, <laughs> that was an emotional win. <laughs> Gino beat the Broncos. Time out. That was an that that was an emotional win with a first year uh, head coach, 
fourth and five with Mr. Fourth Quarter himself. Like I said, Mr. Quarter Billion Dollars Man and Russell Wilson. You choose to kick a 64-yard field goal. Even he said days after, of course, that was a bonehead move. That was a bonehead move. And you had timeouts. You, veteran, so veteran, you're saying, you saying Russell veteran, Wilson was in a shootout with Geno Smith? <laughs> What's it? <laughs> Why are you doing my man Geno like that, bro? You got to remember, Russell had a new team. Oh, shit. <laughs> you're doing my man filthy. I know. No, I'm, had, saying, I, I'm I, telling you who they playing. You saying I'm saying you saying was, you you would try. You saying it was a shoot. That was a shoot. Cause you sound like you sound like everybody else, man. He didn't have a shootout with him with Gino. You know what I'm saying? He, him and Gino don't ever see the field together. He had a shootout <laughs> with their defense. So, you know what I'm saying? You you bringing Gino into this like like we outside or something? So <laughs> you think? Do you think? Do you think? Gino is better than Garoppolo. Nah, not overall. I got you. I I, met, I mess with Guwap. I mess with my man Jimmy G. I I nicknamed him Guwap long time ago. So no, nah, those definitely no. But at the same time, I'm gonna keep it real. Those quarterbacks that sit behind greats and learn, mm-hmm. they they and once Gino stopped. Asking like he got approved and had to start the position because you got it, you got nobody else. You said Gino, he, yeah. Once he starts <laughs> to feel comfortable, yo, listen, hear me out. I'm not saying anybody be great or nothing, but he could be a decent quarterback. He has all the intangibles. Jimmy you know or I mean? Gino? Oh, Jimmy, Gino, oh. Jimmy for sure. But what I'm saying, Gino has the potential. Gino to Smith. Be a, Yes, has the potential to be a decent quarterback. Hear me, I'm not saying he's going to be great. You know, this Super Bowl. is his tenth year. This is what I'm saying. <laughs> he's set for eight of them. <laughs> he is fresh. He is fresh. He is fresh off the knowledge. Oh. He's set behind great. You know what I'm saying? This is what I'm saying. If he can put this to this, he could be a decent quarterback, bro. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. Don't don't put him on the shelf as a a backup. Like he could be a, a decent game manager, bro. You yeah. like, he's, like you said, he shot it out with Russell Wilson and came out on top. So <laughs> yeah, I mean, you why you talking my man like that? He's set for eight years. He's fresh. If if not anything, he's fresh. Man, <laughs> set for eight years. Eight. He man, that's fresh leg too. Man. That's fresh. God, yo. I'm still going San Fran, though. I'm going San Fran, man. The man said Gino said <laughs> he got the tutelage. He got the tutelage. Like you said, he got the tutelage. The ah, tutelage. Ah, and he got, a, he, got, he got the tutelage, bro. Come on. And he got Pete Carroll at, at, at the helm. Tutelage. Gino Green, let's get it. Gino was drafted in 98. <laughs> so was so was LeBron. So was LeBron. Yeah. Last game we got Dallas Cowboys versus the New York Giants. I don't think Cooper Rush is gonna have the same games he had last week. Now that you like you said about game planning, now you know what he's bringing to the table. And Zeke hasn't really shown me anything in the last few years, and if that continues. Saquon is looking like that boy again. Only problem is they got Daniel Jones at quarterback. I just I know the first what that, the stuff that I'm basing this off of, it all wasn't his fault. His team was trash canister. But he didn't show any spark of brilliance or I can even game manage with this. You know what I mean? He just looked like another piece of fire in the dumpster fire. Like another piece of wood in the dumpster fire. He just added to the trash pretty much. So that's a that's a real difficult one. That's a real difficult one. And then you got Parsons gonna be coming after him all night. He's a stone foot quarterback like like his yeah, predecessor. Like, about like his predecessor. Right. Yeah. And you got Diggs lurking in that 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 secondary. Ah, as much as I like Saquon, 
as much as I I don't like Dallas because they beat the Bills, and you know I don't beat the Bills. I, I'm act, in the Super Bowls. I'm talking ancient shit. Yeah, I'm talking that far back. I yeah. remember. I'm a remember. I'm a I'm a mafia member. Like remember that shit still hurt. And I want to say they beat us Monday night a few years. I had to do like a hundred push-ups, and I think I lost twenty five dollars that. Like yeah, I remember everything. Like like that shit hurt. That shit hurt. So like, whoa, uh, the Giants beat us in the Super Bowl too. Don't think I don't remember that. <laughs> yeah, right, right. Yeah, right, right. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, like, these both these teams. Saquon um, Barkley had a twenty one attempts for only seventy two yards. But like again, like I said. That Dallas defense, if it's not Parsons or Diggs, of course you're gonna run away from Parsons, or you could run at him and cut back, get him off his balance like you double teaming him and then cut back. So I just see, like I said, heavy dose to say Quan. Ah, I still say Dallas just because Diggs. Like you're gonna have to throw the ball at some point. You have to throw the ball at some point. And I have no faith in Daniel Jones. I no like faith. Brian Dable. I have no faith in Daniel Jones. Not yet. What did he? What did he do last Cooper week? Rush. That Cooper Rush uh, was nineteen for thirty-one, two hundred thirty-five yards and one touchdown. Ezekiel Elliott, fifteen rushes, fifteen fifty-three yards. Fifteen rushes, fifty-three yards. Oh, he's sharing he time has, with Pollard. He only has six fantasy points. Yeah, he's sharing time with Pollard too. So. Zeke is. They got another running back over there. He's sharing time with. So that's why I said like Zeke hasn't shown me nothing in the last few years. But I, 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 I'm gonna go out on a limb just because Cooper Rush is the backup. He probably don't have that much time with the number ones. I'm just gonna go G-Man. They at home. I'm gonna go G-Man. I'm gonna go G-Man. I'm gonna go out on a limb and go G-Man because I don't like Dallas that much. And of course, the G Men, they still New York. So I'm a rep. That's one of my um my big homie. That's one of my big homie teams. And I think they're gonna mess the division up a little bit. I think they're gonna mess the division up. Cause Daniel Jones is not gonna throw no like he's not he can not know is is he's not winning the game with his iron. That's that's it's, that's how it's gonna be the coaching. Like Dable was a great coach for Josh Allen. Daniel Jones don't have a rocket like Josh Allen, but Dable's going to call the right plays and put him in the right positions to get him where they need to be. Heavy dosage of Saquon and just manage me third and five, get me a slant. Get me a down and out. You know what I'm saying? Take the Jones. Get me a screen. I like the Giants. You use use Parsons' uh, speed and aggression against him. Throw a lot of screens his way, a lot of draws. You know what I mean? Screens and draws his way, and just heavy Saquon, or throw the screens away from him. You guys are sprays together? I got two of my teams. Shit, let's close it out uh, and then come right back. <clears throat> this been week three. Social Boy Sports. Dre Wise, sign off, bro. Yes, sir. Week three, your boy, Chief Rock of the Big Cat. <laughs>